Yeah, speaking of dollars, I mean, he's someone that's going to need to get paid. And we drew up some contract comparables courtesy of Chris Gear, who's got a story on dailyfaceoff.com. Looking at what that next deal for Robertson may look like, he's at 1.14 points per game this season, just shy of a point per game in 100-plus career games, as we just mentioned. So what kind of company does that put him in? Of course, you could go a short-term bridge deal, a two- or a three-year deal, but if you're the Dallas Stars and you're in a little bit of a reset here potentially this summer with some uh, pending unrestricted free agents, you may want to try and buy as much term as you can, given the fact that Robertson, Rupe Hintz, his line mate, and Miro Haskinen are going to be the pillars, the core, the trifecta that leads the Dallas Stars for the next number of years. It's some pretty heady company here, Mike, when you look at guys like Kaprizov, Aho, Ranton, and Marner, Chris Gear calculates that this next deal for Robertson could be somewhere between $8.25 and $9.25 million on a long-term AAV. What do you think? I think that's pretty accurate. I'd expect it to be at the lower end of that spectrum. Uh, Dallas be, or Texas being a no-tax state obviously helps, but I would want to have Robertson tied up long-term. Give him the max deal you can because Dallas isn't getting any younger with some of their veteran players they need this young influx you need to lock up players like robertson so definitely in the eight million range i'd be surprised if it was up towards nine uh, but i would think lower end of the eight seems pretty appropriate for